All right, folks. Uh, it's been a couple of days waiting. I just couldn't figure out what I wanted to do next. But I think I've finally found the answer. Are you guys ready for a fun, interesting little Game Boy game made by the developers called Game Freak? Yes, that's right. It's time to play. No, it's not time to play Pokemon. <laughs> uh, if you thought I was playing Pokemon, you're dead wrong. Game Freak is has more than just Pokemon. They also make some interesting little platformers. This one is called Drill Dozer! Yay! This is a game that's a, l it's a lot of fun and brutally hard if you're not careful. But, uh, yeah. It's fun, it's neat, it's a, it's a drill-based platformer. And it's really fun. I was surprised. The first time I, I saw this game and I played it, I beat it 100% in two days because I just couldn't stop playing it. But it gets so vindictive towards the end. Oh, it gets brutal. Over here, the red diamond those evil skulkers stole from us that has to be in this hideout. Probably waiting for you to watch yourself in there. You and I will be supporting you from back here at the trailer. Call us with your drill dozers comp system if you get into trouble. I can't do that voice forever. <laughs> yeah, don't... So... Let me just do a little bit of a background. Uh, the comic, or not comic, but the game itself, not only with, with the instruction booklet, you also get a little six page mini comic called A Girl and Her Dozer. I could not find this comic online. Uh, otherwise I'd have a link to it in the description. Just cause it kind of sets up the background a little bit. But basically you play Jill Dozer. Her father is Big Boss Doug of the of the local gang called the Red Dozers. They had a red diamond stole by a rival gang called the Skulkers, and they injured Big Big Boss Doug in the conflict. And now Jill wants revenge and the diamond back. And with the Big Boss out of commission, that makes Jill the boss, even though she's only seven years old, from what I understand. Yep. Oh, no, oh, she looks a little daisy, but nah, I think I think we can cover. So, what the heck is a drill dozer anyway? Oh, maybe it's that machine she was riding around in. Yeah, I think that might be it. All right. Hop on in, Jill. Yeah. It's kind of like a drill armor mech suit. So it's already has strong Japanese anime influences. <laughs> I, my first impression from playing this game is an anime turned into a game, even though it's just purely a game and not an anime. If there is an anime, I'm, it came out after this, but I don't know if there is or not. Yep, so now that we have our drill dozer, it's time to snoop around in the Skulker hideout and see if we can't find our way. And after a few tutorials, which I hate, RL to drill spin. Press and hold RL to rev your drill up max and out your power gauge. Okay, that's pretty simple enough. Hold down R. Oh, cool. Yep. Above and below you. Oh, sweet. So I have a multi directional drill. Nice. Up, down, left, and right. Oh, she's looked dazed. Yeah, I, I would be a little woozy after a fall like that too. Oh, sweet. So, we're going to destroy everything in our path. Because we are Jill Dozer of the Red Dozers and we want revenge! Vengeance! We also want the Red Diamond back, whatever it is. It's. From my understanding, it's a prized possession of the Red Dozers. An important note is to not take this game seriously. Watch out for traps. Okay, that seems reasonable enough. Like, for example, Tension Skulkers. This. <laughs> wow, fake smiles and thug minions are required to frown look intimidating at all times. Yep, this game is not serious at all. Oh, hey, I can press start to save. That's kind of neat. Uh, what do we have here? Oh, just more things that I'll never use. And that's the logo of the Skulkers. 
Already we're making great progress. Huh. That's weird. Yeah, the first level is pretty dialogue intensive, unfortunately. It just won't let us get to drilling. Self-repairing barrier. That's weird. What? That's... That's not right. What are they using? Nanotechnology? I can destroy... What, you mean I can't destroy this wall? Ugh! I guess I have to do this the hard way. Man, this wall is resilient. Uh, <laughs> get used to seeing that, viewers. We're going to see that a lot. <laughs> oh, wait, now we can go up here? Oh, we can, yeah, okay. So, press R at just the right time to shift. Okay, so when it's up in that area, gotcha. Press R again. Oh, that's kind of neat. So we can rev up our drill now. Yeah, anytime you get an upgrade to your, uh, whoop. Anytime you get an upgrade to your drill dozer, that will play. That little animation there. Okay, so now I can drill up, I can shift up the second gear. Yeah, it's actually really easy. <laughs> Once you get the timing down, it becomes second nature. I, I screwed up because I was talking like an idiot. So what do you think of my upgraded drill now, wall? Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh, that's sweet. I can always go for more destruction. Oh, hey, that's kind of neat. Our, our drill can protect us from incoming bullets. Nice. But it does slow down maneuverability a wee bit. All right. What's, hey, what's this? Don't let anyone near the factory on the surface. Okay, I guess I know where I'm heading. Oh, 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 we got skulkers. We got skulkers. They do nothing against the drill, though. I feel kind of bad. Like, if, if it weren't for the fact that there's no visible damage being done to them, I would feel bad because I'm basically drilling through their bodies and destroying them in a horrible, horrible fashion, which makes Jill Dozer an evil person. She's killing gang members at the tender age of seven. This girl is mentally unstable. We must put a stop to her before her rampage continues. Now yeah, what's down here? Nice. I have these little chips I've been picking up. They're the currency of the game. You can use them at a shop that you can access later. Oh, a super strong ally? Let's drill it! Oh, that makes me sad. Oh, I want to try anyways. Dang it. Hate it when Guillermo's right. Guillermo's always right, and I hate Guillermo. Whatever. We'll just start drilling through here. Uh, just the, uh, one key note about Drill Dozer. Destroy everything. Because you never know what's hiding money. Might, this might also be a good time to point out my health bar at the top. The little green bar next to the gears. Did I just destroy their laundry? And their bunk beds? <laughs> I'm destroying everything! Where's the kitchen sink? I need to destroy a kitchen sink now. Cause then I can use an I can have an overused cliche in my LP. That'd be amazing. There's no kitchen sink. Oh, developers, you let me down. Whoop, whoop. The hit. All kinds of crazy lifts. Okay. Socket lift. Yep. I'm just gonna say this now. I don't really see a whole lot of other drill dozers in this game. So why do they have lifts that only drill dozers can use? It's just a game, but I'm still really curious. Because it seems like without these, we would be screwed. Because that's how we get around in a lot of areas, is by using those socket lifts. 
And you have to use them in some pretty creative ways once you get to the later dungeons. Or, not dungeons, stages. Uh, why am I saying dungeons? I haven't done a game with a dungeon. I haven't played a game with a dungeon in it for a while. Oh, uh, that's right. I've been watching an LP of Ocarina of Time. They're in the Water Temple now. It's really funny. Dude. The guy is so lost. <laughs> well, he's not really lost, but... Uh, I'm not here to advertise other people's LPs. I'm here to do my own, so... Hush up, Sven. Let's do this door. Did I just go into a dead end? Yeah. Oh, and you didn't really get a chance to see it very well, but that silver bullet he fired at me was a bullet. Well, duh. The silver bullet is a bullet, Sven. Yeah, we didn't know this. Thank you for enlightening us. Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm a little out of it. <laughs> but there was a door down here I forgot to explore because I thought it led to where the door above led us to. I thought this was the dead end. Security cameras must be vanquished. Leave no traces of my presence here. And that wall's not destructible. Let's sigh. Alright. Time to use another socket lift. They have they give you plenty of leeway to when you can shift up. Uh, sometimes it's best to shift up uh, later sooner than later. Other times it's best to wait. Just depends upon the situation. Ugh, I messed up a simple jump. Ice fails at Drill Dozer, even though I've played through the game twice already. Oh, oh, the crack in the wall, crack in the floor. Monies, I can use monies. What is the money used for? Well, it's used for various things, and we'll discuss that when, once a shop opens up. I don't think a shop will open up until the sec. Ooh, did we just get our third gear? Oh, heck yeah. Third gear is where everything picks up. The music just gets all energetic and awesome. Gotta try that thing out. Oh yeah. Third gear, you'll go through blocks like butter. And what he didn't mention, when you get the third gear, you stay in third gear. You don't lose drilling power at all. Oh yeah. A path of destruction, carnage, mayhem, and drilling. Lots and lots of drilling. Nothing can stand up to third gear. Not even this the ultra ultra durable rehealing door. With third gear, it just goes to pieces. Yeah, yeah. Oh, don't drill into missiles, missiles or bombs. Let's get that kind of fast. Yeah, you can drill into bullets, but anything that explodes would be a bad idea to drill into for obvious reasons. All right. The best part about third gear. As long as you have something to drill while falling, you can keep going. So now we have the ultimate pogo stick. We do 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 do. <laughs> That's the first time I've ever pulled that off successfully. That's awesome. Oh, money, money, money! Am I gonna have time to beat this stage? Oh, maybe not because of all the dialogue, but nah, whatever. Yeah, and again, destroy everything. You never know what has currency hiding in it. I forget what it's called. I think they're called chips in this game. Yeah, yeah. Drill and destroy everything. Of course, you know, this level looks easy, but like I said, later it just gets downright vindictive. That little chip you saw me pick up is uh, like as a health restore. They come in two forms, those little green stones and batteries. Batteries restore a full bar of health. They're really, really good, but also really, really rare. For obvious reasons. Holy crap, has it really almost been 15 minutes? I'm not gonna have time to get to the boss in this stage. That's, that's gonna suck. Oh well, you can at least make it the most of the way. Or unless, do we have enough time? No, we don't because of a stupid elevator ride. These take forever. Ugh. 
Well, I don't have enough time now for the boss, so instead of heading to the boss, which is over to the right, let's head to the left. Let's have some little extra goodies. Mainly, the big thing is health a battery, if you need it for full health. And here's where we came in. Anyways, uh, that's it for Let's Play Drill Dozer for today. Thank you for watching, everyone, and I shall see you all tomorrow.